Quilt Pro is perfect for using the strip piecing method. Let's print out a strip piecing chart so we can sew our block. Click on the block library and choose the eight point star folder. Now click the print center button, then click print strip piecing charts. We're going to make this block 12 inches. The finished block size is the size of the block before adding seam allowance. Don't add in seam allowance here, or it will increase our overall block size. The copies selection indicates the number of blocks we're cutting using the strip piecing method. Let's make nine copies. Now we'll set the fabric width and seam allowance. Then click Print Preview so we can see our chart. Let's zoom in a little bit. This chart shows the block name, how many copies we're going to cut, a diagram, and the colored block. Scrolling down a little, we'll see that each patch has its corresponding patch in the diagram. The colors also correspond to the block. Let's look at how to read the chart. The first line tells us how wide to cut the strip. Here, we'll be cutting three fabric strips that will be two and three quarter inches wide. From there, we'll be cutting 18 rectangles that are five and a half inches long. Then, we'll cut the rectangles in half to make 36 triangles. For quarter square triangles, we'll cut two four and one quarter inch wide strips. Then, we'll cut that square diagonally to get four triangles from that square. Finally, we'll cut 18 squares into 72 triangles. Some of these blocks can't be cut using a regular rotary cutter, so for part F, we'll want to create a template. That's how we create the strip piecing charts.